Now, ladies and gentlemen, I myself am one to have bought and sold CSGO skins for the past five years. And of course, investing in CS hasn't really been something that's been, of course, the entire time. That's mainly been just the past three, three and a half years alone. From Krakow 2017, I would say until now, is when I've really, really invested into CSGO. And well, the past year, I would say I've invested very heavily compared to the years prior. And especially right now on a time on YouTube where I've talked about recently how right now is not the best time to of course buy or invest in anything in CS because everything's so expensive and selling right now is a great way to do so. A lot of people have asked me the golden question, why don't I invest into TF2 or Rust skins? And that, if you guys don't know, are of course two other games on Steam that I would say are pretty popular alongside CSGO, but nowhere near as popular as CSGO. And while there's a lot of reasons why I don't, and I have no interest in doing so, and maybe it could sway someone else's opinion in the future, maybe some people might agree with me 100% on this. And well, before I hop into today's commentary and overview of this exact situation, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, and of course, subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Now, today's video sponsor is, of course, Skins Monkey. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Skins Monkey is, they are currently the biggest growing Counter Strike Global Offensive trading marketplace for skins, which is absolutely amazing with great fees as well. Let's just say you guys have some skins you're really not feeling anymore. Skins Monkey is the best way to trade them. In this trade, to be exact, I actually profited 18 cents, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but considering it's a trading website, it's actually very, very good. Sign up today to get up to a $5 bonus, which is very nice. And if you never used the website, site before well you can use my code mando go up to the top right you claim that bonus and if you guys want to deposit with real life cash or crypto you get a 25 percent deposit bonus which is very very nice so for the main reason i trade buy sell and of course invest into csgo is because it's my favorite game it's like no other game and i think most people that play csgo and have been playing csgo maybe as their primary game at least the past two or three years can understand what i mean by this especially the og players it's their favorite game that's all they care about. They've seen games like PUBG, H1Z1, even games like Fortnite and Minecraft just kind of come and grow. They have really no other interest in any of their games throughout the year. Like Call of Duty comes and goes, it's the exact same game every single year, no one cares. CSGO never really changes, and that's a great and also horrible thing for, of course, players, but something I would say the majority of people really, really like, and that's why we've all stayed until this point in time. And with TF2 and even PUBG back in the day when those items were getting traded before those got banned specifically, TF2 and Rust right now are extremely profitable, I would say, because they're very, very popular on the Steam market, especially Dota to two skins for an example. Back in 2020, before RMR really started taking off with people like myself talking about it on YouTube, I was doing something to get buff balance. And this is of course selling Arcanas and TF2 keys, which is still a very easy thing to do for buff balance, to get things on buff and then sell them on North American and European marketplaces. But nowadays, this is an actual huge thing that I would say 90% of the population in CS does if they're buying and selling skins, if they want some profit. So that's what a lot of those items are used for at the end of the day. And with games coming and going, we don't really ever know if a game is going to die at any point in time. Like TF2 is a great example of this. TF2, as much as people want that game to stick around, it's most likely not. The population is dying every single day. The popularity is, of course, dying. They have to have certain days out of the month where people go online and be like, one last time we all play TF2 and then the game's going to be done. And with an in-game marketplace like CS and a game like Dota 2, you still have items that sell for thousands of dollars, but it's obviously very niche with some of them just being a very low quantity, at least under five or six. And it's just a very, very niche market. It's not my favorite thing as well. And with knowing the market, I would have to learn an entire new market for two different games or three possibly. If I wanted to learn Dota 2, Rust, and of course TF2, that were, those are three completely different marketplaces from one another. They don't correlate whatsoever. So it's a lot of my time I'd have to spend learning into new different markets. But I would say the most important thing out of all this is the reason I like CS investing so much is you get to see your profits and you get to see your investments every single day, especially when you're playing the game. And with CSGO's longevity of being over 10 years old, you can play any day. You don't really have to worry too much about your skins going down. Pretty much they're just going to go up, especially from right now, because the player base in the game is only going to grow from here and grow every single day. Your case investments, you get to see them on the Steam market and people buy and open them every single day. And I'm pretty confident to say CS is going to stick around for a long time when you have a lot of these huge streamers coming from these other huge games that, of course, love them and whatnot, but they're coming to CSGO because the skins market is so popular. It's so interesting for people who don't know what's going on. And well, with that, people are going to buy and, of course, sell some of these cases because the quantity is going to drop quite a bit from these streamers opening them. And of course, how I see it, if I were to invest into another game, I might as well go all into Dogecoin. I don't have any 
idea of what's going on in another market. I have a decent idea, of course, what's going on in Dota 2, but that's the only other game I have some sort of attention of, but I don't care for anything else besides Bitcoin and of course CS Go skins. The reasons I don't buy into anything else besides CS is of course, I know the market, I would have to learn everything else. I know the seasons, the times to buy and sell for CS, it's a whole other thing on top of the market itself. You get to see your investments grow, which is probably my favorite thing out of all things. If that's in skins that you're playing with on a daily basis, you get to see, oh, my, my M4, for example, went up $20. It's really, really cool to see. It's not like anything else where it kind of just sits in a wallet or if it was a TF2 or Rust item, or of course, Dota too, it would just sit in an inventory. I wouldn't play the game or really care. And I know there's some people that do that with CS, but it's just not my cup of tea. Let me know what you guys think. Can you guys agree? Can you guys disagree? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. I'm out guys.